Okay, today we're gonna make a pie plate antenna for HDTV. So this is a kind of a DIY antenna, so it's very easy. Only a few things you need. First, a cardboard. The cardboard needs to be at least, I'm well, not at least, it has to be exactly uh, 8 inches in diameter. So it has to be this big, 8 inches. It, uh, the, for the antenna, uh, it's not like it's bigger, the, the bigger the better. So it has to be 8 inches. If you go to 10, it's probably not as good as 8 inches. Okay? So because of the frequency of the, the signal you're going to receive, 8 inches diameter is the perfect size. So we're going to draw a uh, first, we're going to draw an 8 inch diameter circle on the cardboard, and then we cut off a small uh, hole uh, on, the, on the circle. So it should be about 4 inches, so the CD is the perfect size for it. And then we need a coaxial cable to connect the signal and connect to the TV. Of course, we need a pen to draw, draw, the, uh, draw the circle. And it, the reason it's called a pie, uh, pie plate because you can use an aluminum pie plate for it. It's exactly about 8, eight inches. Uh, but for us, because we don't have that one lying around, what we're going to use the cardboard to approximate the size. Then we use the tin foil, the one you use in the kitchen, to cover it. So it should work about the same. If they are both aluminum and uh, they're both the same size, so it should work. And uh, to connect, the wire, we're going to strip the wires, you get a coaxial a pair of uh, a coaxial cable and what we're going to do, we'll cut off one end, this end goes to, for example, this end we connect to the TV, but this end we'll have to cut it off and strip the wire so that you have to uh, uh, connect the metal contacts to the pie, uh, to the pie plate, so the cable will be completely destroyed, so be prepared to have a spare, use a spare cable, okay? And, and to, to make the connection secure, I found two uh, screws, but you can actually use a push pin, like a thumbtack or whatever, to secure the wire to the pipe plate. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, we're gonna draw an eight inch diameter circle, okay? So this will be our center. It's because I don't, I can't find a counter, so we just have to approximate, approximate the, the circle. Okay. So basically, to approximate an eight-inch diameter uh, circle, I just draw this uh, from the center line, center dot, four-inch radius lines. So that's how we're gonna approximate the circle. Or you, you, if you have a compass at home, then you don't need this. Anyway, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just how we do this DIY project. It doesn't have to be perfect. And in the end, it's going to work. So once we complete the circle, we are going to cut the cardboard out. Okay, so we're going to cut it, um, we need a, a pair of scissors. Okay, cutting out the cardboard. So you can use the, the pie, pie plate, or you can just use a tin foil to cut out Cut off on a, a flat tin foil, um, eight inch diameter circle. But because the antenna has to be mounted flat, the flatness is uh, important. So I figured a cardboard with a stiffness is probably better than just a tin foil because tin foil is very soft to so maintain retain its shape. I'm gonna do it this way. Probably works better and. It's easy to turn around as well because the tinfoil is so soft it cannot be hung anywhere. I 
Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to wrap the tin foil around it. The end result will be pretty ugly anyway. draw about four inches to near the edge, okay? Just like this. Okay, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. So kind of make like this like a, like a crescent shape, right? shape, flat for its thickness, and now we will cover it with our tin foil, like this. So how do we do this? We'll figure it out. This is done. It's ugly, but it's a good shape, flat, and covered with tin foil. This side looks better. Uh, so, like I said, to to get the cable on, you just have to cut off, take a good side, and cut off the other one. So this side will go to the TV, you guys. And this side is going to cut off. So, just completely cut off that. It's garbage. And we're going to have to strip the, the plastic casing. So, you're going to need at least this long cut off this long so that you can go to attach it to either side. You have to reach either side of the tip. tip. Make sure, so this is uh, the inside of the, the cable. You can see the coaxial cable is there's a core 
in the middle there is a copper wire, it's hard wire and on the outside there's kind of insulation then there's a, a small copper wire as well so we just we need both of them so we just need to cut out the casing okay so we have stripped the wire and remember it has to be able to reach both sides okay so I strip this much so you can see okay so I put the screws on the through the tin foil so what I need to do is now cut off the plastic piece we're gonna take the outer thin layer of copper wires and attach it to one side of the screw and the other part we're gonna have stripped the inner uh, protective plastic thingy and get the copper wire in the middle out and wrap it around this side and that's all we need to do okay okay so this is the end result so I uh, use attach the, the, the center copper wire to this screw screw it tight and the outer mesh I wrap around this other screw and it's tight so it's pretty sturdy uh, now all we have to do is connect this to the TV antenna input and we'll take a look and try to search for the channels that's it